<laughs> I am a busy person, busy person. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, uh, as any musician, I'm in a band uh, around Vancouver. It's uh, having played in bands ever since the first day I came to Vancouver. Um, I've been around the block a few times and uh, have really enjoyed uh, the, the the whole scene around here. Really, I've I've enjoyed. Uh, working with the rock scene, uh, the metal scene, and uh, the alternative scene, mm-hmm. and really have seen uh, different venues rise and fall and gone away, and the whole Granville Strip now, there's barely a place to go play music, and I remember when I first came here, you could go to six or seven different places up yeah, there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I played at the Yale, that was a blast, and I'm glad I played there before it's now a country bar. It's a country bar, Country yes. bar. Oh, that's that's interesting. I, I mean, think there's only the studio and the rocks here are the only... St- studio doesn't even do it anymore. Doesn't do it. And, no. they, and when they were doing it, they do it like uh, early shows. So yeah. by 9 o'clock, the, the yeah. show was over. It's all DJs, yeah. Yeah, no, it's all DJs. I mean, you know, big shout out to Live Acts for pushing live music. But it just goes to show what makes the most bang for their buck is the DJs. And... Uh, it brings in the most people. I mean, you go to the Granville Strip on a 10 o'clock on a Friday night, you will see packs amount of people all going to hit the clubs, and it's great. I love seeing people out and enjoying the city as much as the next person. But um, um, one of my things I'm working on is support the scene, which is uh, almost a re- reiteration of my earlier company called Hammer Records, mm-hmm. which we do photography and music videos. And we used to do reviews with Hammer Records, but that just gets a little hairy and a lot of time consuming. So we're mostly just sticking with promoting bands and musicians and trying to connect the various scenes in Vancouver. We're trying to connect um, you know, people that don't necessarily go out to some of these different pubs, 340s, the Astoria, um, uh, the Waldorf, but mm-hmm. uh, you know, trying to connect uh, the LGBT community with some of the alternative music, trying to connect the all ages scene to some great bands around town and just really interviewing and talking with people from various uh, walks of the life, whether they be older, younger, mm-hmm. first band, last band, you know, w- whatever they're, they're, they're doing, we're trying to give them a platform to reach more audience. Okay, and uh, you, do, you do that uh, with, with whom or with platform company? Well, what, yeah, what, so... Tell me about that project. Yeah, so that's um, a, a lot of that's with uh, just using YouTube. Uh, I, I film a lot of interviews. I film... Um, we're starting a, a, another band versus band series, so bands will come on to a number of challenges against each other, uh, okay. all in the sport of fun. And, um, you know, things from, like, um, we have Triple X charades, which was fun. We had a band come up, and they had to uh, act out a bunch of very naughty stuff, and it led to some hilarity, <laughs> for sure. Um, and we've ha- we're doing things like uh, where we play a cover song, that uh, either a local band or some more unknown band has done, uh-huh. and then the first person who buzzes in and uh, you know recognizes the song, you know, gets the point, and a lot of games like that to really try and boost viewership for the non-musician people mm-hmm. that all watch the channel. And then on top of that, we have our interviews, and we have all of that segment. And uh, whenever I'm at a show, I always have my camera, so I'm always filming a live video. That goes up on the channel, too. And, and when, 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 where, what the, with the channel? Where can people find the So people channel? can find the, the channel. Uh, it's called... Um, Support the scene if you l- if you search it on YouTube. Support the scene, Vancouver. Support the scene, yeah. Support the Vancouver scene. It is. It, it's great. I've been um, uh, had uh, such a blast being able to uh, work with all these different promoters around town, and they help me promote. I'm sponsored by a number of local uh, Vancouver companies like Jean Queen that does alternative uh, wares on Commercial Drive to Lockett Hair Salon, which I thought was an awesome place. They're a the hair salon, but it's, you know how when you go in and like a men's cut's $10 and a woman's cut's like $30 and things like that. Well, the nice thing is, is that they've abolished that. It's just haircuts priced based on complexity. So it's no longer gender-based hair prices okay. and things like that. And just small things like that which help people who identify with different genders and whatnot. You know, like for me, I I have long hair, I'm transitioning from male to a female, and going in, a lot of people are like, well, you're a male, but I don't want to charge you the male price, and it just gets 